All righty. Figured we'd take a minute this afternoon and go over the boat. It's a pretty day outside. I got a couple of compartments drying. So we're going to go over the good and the bad. And this won't be like no five hour long video or nothing. First off, we're trying some new ACC crappie sticks. The grip on these things is amazing. It's like a sticky type rubbery texture. I don't know. It's awesome. It's a little Ingle Minnow cooler. If you don't have one of these and you crappie fish, you might want to buy one. This thing is awesome. Comes with its own little aerator. Got a little spot to go through here. It works off of D size batteries or you can plug up 12 volt. So what we have here, this is the Sea Arc BC 210, which is the bass, I think it's a bass cat or bass something. Anyway, Sea Arc is made by the same company that makes bass cat. I did not know that till the other day, but found that out. So this is a 21 and a half foot long boat, double axle trailer. Got the spot for the spare tire. It's got the swing away tongue. It does not come with the safety cable. I did add one on. Might have been the dealer I bought it from. It came with nothing. No tie downs, no transom support, nothing. You got a boat and a trailer. I put everything else on it. I had them install the uh, trolling motor and depth finders, which I will never do again. I spent days going back and rewiring stuff. Like coming through this metal here, they just had wires coming through the metal. I put this loom on it. So we're running the Garmin up front. This is the, oh uh, goodness, I'm terrible. It's the 1242 XSV. It's not the touch screen. I didn't want the touch screen on this one now. I've also got the nine, which I'm gonna put up here to have it for maps and this strictly for live scope. The Minn Kota Ultrix, 112 pound thrust. It's got the iPilot, all that good stuff on it. Awesome trolling motor. It will pull this boat at 4.6 miles an hour and that's a 21 and a half foot boat that we keep just absolutely loaded. Got millennium rod holders or the transport rack. Got spots for your trolling rack here and here. I went with the millennium because when I strip it off to bass fish this summer, this is all you're left with. Those come off the same way. You just got the plate left and that's it. So you got the deck tie downs, which I don't like. I'm going to go to the flat retractable kind. These are just cheap. Single console. Sea Arc does not offer a double console at this time. I'm going to call them this week and see if they've got anything to go over there. Because right now, even on cruise, like 5,200 RPM, something like that, maybe 4,900, somewhere in there, you're running almost 55 miles an hour with this boat loaded the way it is, which has got a lot of wind resistance. It'll probably hit mid-60s if you top it out and got it set up for bass where everything's flat on the deck. Recess trolling motor. I got this color carpet which I didn't really want. I wanted white with the rhino lining type or line X, whatever you want to call it, type flooring. That's what I wanted. Sea Arc was eight months out on a boat right now. Does have the rhino lining around the top, around the gunnels and everything. Um, we'll get in in here in just a second. Go back here. So your standard little console, nice switches and everything. You got Accessory switches, compartment lights, recirculate, auto aerator, manual aerator, bilge pump, navigation, anchor lights, and then the main power. All your gauges are backlit. I do not like, we're running the Hummingbird Helix 10 up here on the dash. I'll never mount another one in my dash. I'm going to have to get a cover to go over that and use like a ram mount. I do not like it being in the dash because if you sit where I'm sitting... The steering wheel takes up some of your screen. Hydraulic C-Star steering on it with tilt wheel. I've got to add the um, blinker trim. I've got it. I haven't put it on yet. Right now, jack plate is over here. Trim's here. I did add a hot foot to it. Cup holders. 
whoever built this boat must have been an alcoholic. You got two in the floor, one here, two up front, two in the back. Carrying on around in the back, everything stays rhino lined. Line X, sorry, line X is what it is. So we're running the Yamaha 200 four stroke on the back. Six inch Atlas hydraulic jack plate with the setback on it. I don't know what that setback is, but that's gonna be the transducer for the the console graph. I put these little Bass Pro Shop tie downs on it. You do have a ladder to get in if you fall out. Everything on the other side is about the same as any other boat would be. It's a nice, pretty boat. I've been using this stuff called a uh, boat juice. And man, on a black boat, you can see that thing is just slick. Look at there. You can see my elf pants in it. Let's hop up in here and we'll take a look around. So now getting into the boat, you've got up front, you got rod locker, rod locker, storage, storage, and the rod lockers. This one over here will fit close to eight foot rods. The center will fit close to nine foot rods. And they all have the little, I don't know if you can see it. Excuse my crock. Don't worry about all that. Well, you can't see it anyhow. They got the little rod separators built in up there. So show you this one, it's a little less messy. So when we crappie fish, we just throw all of our day stuff over there, I guess. And because you got to bring extra clothes, but rod lockers nice and clean. You got the little dividers up there. Over here, you got storage here. I got the live scope module in here and just some snacks and baits in here. Keep most of the crappie tackle, which isn't much. A bunch of jig heads, weights, and that's about it. Carrying on over here in the middle, this is going to be, guess what you can consider a day compartment, I guess? It's probably your little day junk in there. Coming on to the back, you got a 42 gallon split live well. Storage here. Nice big deep live well. The only thing I'm not liking is I'm going to have to seal in here. Up here around this top edge. Water will go over it when it splashes when you're running in the waves and stuff and get into this compartment. Don't like that. It's not sealed well. In the back, we're running four batteries as of now, which is going to change to lithium, and it's probably going to change to five batteries. But right now, we are running just the four batteries that came with it, and we've got, uh, we've got uh, the four-bank Minn Kota onboard charger in there. Dual 19 gallon fuel tanks, which fills up right here on the back on each side. Everything's nice and clean the way they did it. They didn't do a bad job on setting the boat up. It's just a, there's a few things that I don't like on fit and finish wise, but I looked at a lot of different boats and I wanted another Sea Art. And this is what we ended with. I'm very, very happy with the boat. I'm happy with the ride quality of the boat, the fishability of the boat. I mean, it is huge. That deck is like 6'7 this way and 6'9 this way. So it's a big front deck, especially for an aluminum boat. And I mean, we got an aluminum boat that runs mid-60s, so I'm fine with it. Passenger rod storage. Do have under this seat, they went ahead and gave you insulated cooler with a drain. And then over here is just dry storage. Same with that, dry storage. But... If you look at everything, I mean, they did a good job on it. Everything's nice and clean looking. Clean lines. Everything looks good. Millennium rod holders. That's for up there on the front. And everything lays down nice and neat for travel. I really like these Millennium transport racks. And these ACC crappie sticks. I think I'm going to learn to love them. I don't like these reels. Never buy these reels. This was a total waste of money. These little slab, whatever they're called, little junk reels. Just buy a $30 bait caster and put on here. These little things are nothing but garbage. You heard the drag just from trying to reel up a half ounce weight, and it's about turned up as far as it'll turn up. So, uh, yeah, these are just absolute 100% garbage. The rods are very nice, though. I like the rods. 
I just had to throw something on them because I didn't have nothing on them. So something better than nothing. But yeah, just buy a bait caster for them and done. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed a quick little tour. We're definitely going to put this out in the water a lot more. I'll put a little live scope video here at the end. If people got any questions about live scope, comment on it. I'd love to help y'all learn it as I learn it. Hope everybody has a good evening.